Hey guys, welcome back to another Coffee Time with Cobra. Unfortunately, there's no coffee. So, uh, I know, normally the way Coffee Time with Cobras work is when the coffee's done, the video's done. But, someone has kindly asked me to give my two cents on uh, some things. So I figured, what the hey, I'll do a little bit of a rant video. But, in a good way. So, the new Warhammer 40,000 stuff. As you guys know, I do play 40k. I play Death Guard. I play um, yeah, Chaos mostly. Uh, so Death Guard. Uh, I've got a small. Build, uh, I'm building up a small uh, Slanesh uh, uh, army, but I'm mostly Death Guard. I'm, I'm mostly Mortarian Typhus kind of guy. Now, everyone wants me to comment on the new law that's happening which is the Tyranids are coming to Earth. Don't care. Really don't care. You wanna know why? Because it's not in the Eye of Terror. <laughs> I don't care. I don't care if the corpse emperor, you know, gets eaten by a Tyranid. I don't care. I don't care. I do not fucking care. <laughs> do not care. Uh, what do I think of the uh, scale creep? And that's exactly what it is. It's just scale creep. Um, about the whole quote unquote true scale terminators and um, whatnot. Again, don't care. There's a reason why I don't care. One, it's just Games Workshop being greedy. They can charge you twice as much for twice as little plastic. That's it. That's all it is. That's all it is. It's greed. I don't care about the true scale, I don't care about the scale creep. Uh, the fact that they're also scaled up Imperial Guardsmen from basically what was what appeared to be on scale to a Space Marine is now they are equal to the size of an original Space Marine. Did Belisarius call make humans bigger? Or just Space Marines bigger? Because that makes no fucking sense, Games Workshop. But again, it's Games Workshop. What the fuck do you expect? Um, and then, same person wanted me to talk about up and upcoming games. Um, frankly, I, I lost interest in Diablo in the, in the Diablo series when they came out with the uh, "Y'all not have phones." Yeah, that was the biggest PR blunder next to Budweiser giving a can of beer to a tran, tra, to a, to a transvestite. Sorry, but it, 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 it is. Um, I still have Diablo 3. I still play my Necromancer on Diablo 3. I play my Necromancer on Diablo 2, even. Um, will I be playing or owning Diablo 4? No. Just no. No. Um, now that uh, Heroes and Generals has finally died, what World War II shooter am I, am I playing? I am playing Hell Let Loose. Um, you can get it on um, Steam. Um, I do occasionally, and I do mean occasionally, will play Enlisted. Um, but they still have got a lot to go when it comes to Enlisted. So I tend to just stick with either Battalion 1944. Again, very rarely do I play that game. I barely even keep it in, installed on my system. But Hell Let Loose, thanks to uh, uh, Warhammer. Thank you, dude. He, he, he got me in touch with that game. Really awesome game. I like it. Um, what else? Uh, Armored Warfare. Um, because I just don't like the way War Thunder's gone with its uh, economy. A lot of the... the um, and I mean a lot of the... Um, content creators for uh, War Thunder have jumped ship because of how drunk Russians, and that's all I can call it, is drunk Russians decided to treat its player base. Uh, same as World of Tanks. Um, the fact that they've added in World of Tanks plus, 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 now, um, to literally try and get blood out of a stone. Um, I will give this lovely little warning to game developers. You can listen to me or not. Times are tough everywhere. Not just for you. Okay, you've got your Ferrari, you've got your Porsche, you've got your Malibu mansion, you've got your fucking, you know, Manhattan apartment, you've got what you you've got what you've got. Okay, 
because of your skills to help make a video game. However, it's your player base that keeps your play that keeps your game alive. Okay, if you over milk your cows, they're going to die. If you over, uh, if you, my time is money. Okay, end of the day, I'm self-employed. My time is money. I do not have time anymore to spunk it away trying to grind out to get a tier 10 tank that for you, Wargaming, for some reason seem to think that this tank is worth, like, a black hole dense fucking particles weight in gold. Which, by the way, if you worked out, there's not enough gold on this planet. Or, worst case scenario, you still have not dealt with the bots. And we all know what I'm talking about. Klaus has pointed this out. You have done fuck all when it comes to the botting and the cheating. Okay? I'm sorry. It's it's prevalent in the EU server. It's even worse in the US server. So I stopped playing. Because I'm I'm done. I I now play mobile. I now I now play mobile games. I now play Street Fighter Duel and King of the Fight uh, 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 King of the Fighters All Stars. They're they're two gotcha based games that you can have on your Android phone or whatever. Play for a few minutes, know that, and feel like you've gotten somewhere in those few minutes. Then a fifteen to one farming simulator, aka World of Tanks, or a uh, 3,000 games later and you still maybe got less than 1% in War Thunder. It's even worse than Armored Warfare. Armored Warfare quite literally just crams. Buy our gold, 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 buy our gold down your throat. Again, stop it. Just stop it. Okay? If you keep pushing a mule to do something... It's going to dig its heels in, and you're going to get nowhere. Okay? The old phrase, horse, water, cannot make it drink. Same with your player base. You can keep spamming your player base with all these packages and everything. That was one of the biggest downfalls for heroes and generals. They got too fucking greedy. Too greedy. Case in point... Buy a gold general has no general badges. So he just sits there going. He couldn't do anything. He couldn't send units out, couldn't do nothing. All of his units were literally. If you it, when you did manage to save up the the, the, the the resources to send out a unit, they were so heavily debuffed compared to someone who's ground out a general. So I didn't see the point of adding a general purchasable in the gold store but you still added it anyway why because it would have got, it, it got you a hundred dollars yes you got a hundred dollars out of me why because back then people wanted me to to buy specific units and do guides and get content for you guys no and i saw it as an investment a piss poor investment but an investment nonetheless this is the problem with other games okay you look at your content you you look at your content and you think it's the best in the world when it's not it's not. Pick up a book. You cannot compare to my imagination. You can't. So, new Diablo, skipping it. Um, new 40k, good content, good video. I liked it. Um, you know, don't like the new starter set. I'm skipping it. I'm not even going to bother trying to get it. Um, why? For the cost of that starter set, I can buy a couple of STL files and print off as many armies as I want. Yeah, granted, I can't go into a official Games Workshop store and use them. Well, guess what? Games Workshop don't run tournaments. Wow, they have Warhammer World. Okay, that's one tournament. I've got... Four, five? No, six. I've got six local gaming stores near me. They None of them care if I run, if I use 3D printed miniatures or not. So, instead of me having to limit myself to one store... To one tournament per year, I can go to six fucking stores, six stores, and have as many fucking tournaments and as much fun as I fucking want. So I'm sorry, Games Workshop, 
You are not the only fucking game in town. So no. And the fact that one page rules literally took all of your shit. <laughs> thank you, Bison. Took all of your shit and condensed it down to quite literally one page rules. Okay. Two one page rules. And made your game system much better. You were like, well, well let's sue them. Let, let's sue them. And then you try and come out with your own one page rule system. How fucking stupid are you? It's like... Uh, they're, they're talking about a new Star Wars open world. I still miss Star Wars Galaxies, bitch. Bring Star Wars Galaxies back. I don't care that it looked worse than Minecraft. Bring back fucking Star Wars Galaxies. Fuck Knights of the Old Republic. Fuck that shit. I don't want to play that crap. I, I, I tested it for a while. And I was like, nah, bruv, I'm, I'm good. And I cried. I physically fucking cried when they took down my Star Wars Galaxy servers. Yes, I know there's MUs. Yes, I've been on a few of them. Okay, I have. And some of them are amazing. Some of them have come up with new content, new quests, new everything. And it's, it's fucking amazing. You know? But at the end of the day, it's still Disney-based Star Wars. I'm sorry. I... I I'm surprised they haven't had a Jedi come out with a fucking rainbow-coloured lightsaber. Alright, enough. Enough. I'm done. Alright. I don't care. I'm all for, for, for free expression of love and all this shit. But when did Pride Week become Pride Month? You had a week. Now you want a month. What's next? Pride Year? Pride Century? Pride Millennia? Fuck you! Wind your neck in! I don't care if you suck dick or eat taco. I don't care if you like wearing dresses or fucking jeans. I don't care. You're not in that bed. You're not in my relationship. I don't care. But you are not teaching my fucking grandkids... How to suck a dick at the age of five. That's where I draw the line. Okay. No. And any fucking teacher. Any fucking school. Any fucking school board. That approves any of that shit. You should all be arrested for pedophilia. And I fucking mean that. Because if I was a regular person and I got caught with that kind of material trying to tell that, teach that to a child, I would be in handcuffs and be in a prison bitch to half the fucking wing before you can fucking say giddly goop. But because it's in a school with a teacher, that makes it fair and makes it right. No, it doesn't. It is wrong. It is wrong. It is wrong. It is wrong. Do you understand me? And here's the thing. The left don't have children. They indoctrinate other people's children. So do the right fucking thing. Go to your school. Meet the teachers. Go in there. It's your right. Even here in the UK, it's your right to go to your school and talk to the teachers. Go into the classroom. You see anything LGBT, pull your fucking kid out. Pull them out. Pull your fucking kid out. Pull him out. Talk to the headmaster. Talk to the headmistress. Say to him, get that shit out of this fucking school. Get that teacher out of this fucking school. Or I'll start fucking suing every goddamn one of you. And tell them exactly what you're going to be suing them for. Distribution of pornographic material related to the material, the material sexual abuse of children. <laughs> And you see how fucking quick their sphincters suck up a lump of coal and shit out a diamond. Because it's up to you. It's up to us as parents to protect our fucking kids. Now bear in mind, my daughter's 21. She's a teacher in a primary school. And several fucking times. Several fucking times. 
My own daughter has put her job on the line by telling teachers who have been there longer than her to stop, to put that book away, to take those books off the shelves and to stop teaching infants, children less than a year old, and even children up to the age of five who are in her classroom, how to do calilingus and fellatio and how not to tell mummy and daddy. My own daughter, who's 21, knows the difference between right and wrong. Let that sink in. Do the right fucking thing. Go to the goddamn school. It's not it, it's, it's not a place where you just shoo off your kids so you can go watch Emmerdale Farm or whatever fucking sad fucking TV shows you want to watch because you're a lazy stay-at-home fucking mum. Get off your ass and go fucking investigate because before you know it, you, your child, your whole entire private life gets posted on TikTok. Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and you look like the complete and total utter muggy cunt that you are. That's how I feel about that. Now, video games. No, it's it's, it's Disney Star Wars. Not interested. I don't care how cool they, how cool graphically the game looks. I don't care that the fact that they're also uh, uh, remastering Republic Commando. No, they'll still fuck it up. Disney will still fuck it up. I'm, I, I'm done giving Disney chances. I'm done. I'm done. The fact that Disney are losing so much money that they're going to have to sell off some of their actual fucking parks should tell you something. They're willing to literally cut limbs off of their own bodies. Like Euro Disney. That's not going to be part of Disney World anymore. It'll ha still have the name. But it won't be part of the Euro Disney parks. There's even other parks inside the United States. Outside of Disney. That they're, that they're going to have to sell off. To make sure that they can make amends with Fox. Because they owe Fox... Uh, uh, industries, Fox Fox Productions, almost literally quarter of a billion dollars, and they're reneging on it. They can't afford to pay them. Why? Because they go woke, go broke. Indiana Jones, <laughs> big fucking flop. I've seen the first four or five minutes of the movie. Waste of my fucking time. I want my five minutes back. I literally want my five minutes back. I'm sorry. I get it. Harrison Ford is an actor. He's he's getting on in age. I get that. But even as a fucking actor, a prominent actor, you have pull. You have sway. I would have said no. No. We are not doing this. You said it yourself once, Harrison. You chose to have, have Han Solo put in carbonite or killed off because you just didn't want to be known as that guy. But you are that guy. When it comes to Indiana Jones. You are that guy. When it comes. To, and, you, and eventually you did get killed off. Spoilers alert. You did get killed off in Star Wars. By your own muggy son. Dickhead. Just dickhead. I'm sorry. Wh whoever's right. Like Kathleen Kennedy. You need to just. Just fall into a ditch. And never be found again. Alright. I, I, I mean that. You, you do not have a creative bone in your body. Okay? I, I, have, I have literally seen radioactive skeletons in Chernobyl that have more creativity than you will ever have. Okay? I've got more creativity in the dick cheese between my foreskin and the tip of my penis than it's in your entire fucking room full of writers. Sorry. No fucking fact. Uh, don't care about the new Star Wars series. Don't care about the fact that you're you're going to technically renege it. So technically, the Mary Sue is no longer the Mary. Sue. Don't care. Don't care. Don't care. Don't fucking care. Don't care. I don't care. I don't care. You're making a live action of of, of Ezra and 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 whatnot and 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 Star whatever the fuck it was. Um, Rebels. Don't care. Don't care. Do not care. Don't care. Uh, let's see, what was it? Uh, 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 Book of Boba Fett might as well have just been 
book of Mando. Um, or worse, it wasn't even the book of Boba Fett. Boba Fett was in how many episodes, truthfully? And, and Vespers. Seriously, Space Ves Vespers? Who the fuck come up with that idea? Put them up against the wall and shoot them. Space Vespers, fuck's sake. George, seriously, Mr. Lucas, you, you oh, you, oh, God, I'm literally having a forward brain aneurysm, just, no, um, other than that, uh, Street Fighter 6, yes, I have plans on buying Street Fighter 6 for PC, uh, I have my fighting stick, uh, right here, I have my fighting stick waiting to go, uh, so I can't wait. Uh, I am not in Daigo's League. Do not even go there. Uh, I'm nowhere near near Daigo's League. Uh, Justin Wong, I've I've seen him a few times on Fightcade. Um, I've watched him play a few times on Fightcade. Um, if you don't know what Fightcade is, Fightcade is quite literally just that. It is a program you download that allow that allows you to run um legally owned copies of games that you have like your dreamcast your playstation stuff like that so you can play multiplayer you can play the regular single player version of the game but also you can while you're playing that you can get a you here comes a new challenger you know and all of a sudden you're fighting capcom versus marvel they're adding fighting a whole bunch of fighting games to it er, literally every freaking week like every other month they're adding a new game adding a new genre it's not just it's not just fighting games you can do shmups you can do uh, 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 uh street uh, uh, streets of rage stuff like that it's it's tons of arcade games that are being added to it all the time which is kind of cool um i'm i'm actually still looking for a fist of the fist of the north star um, you know, I'm, I'm looking for a Fist of the North Star, uh, arcade machine. When we had the six pad paddles that came out and you had to hit in time with the lights. Uh, because that was a cool fucking arcade game, I like that one. Or Siyo Haku no, no Ken is what it was called in Japan. Um, forgive my horrible pronunciation. But it means Fist of the North Star, uh, based on the, uh, on the manga or the anime. Um, you played Kenshiro and you had to fight King Rao and all the other rest of the bosses and they came at they had specific attack patterns that you had to learn. It was kinda of fucking cool. I wouldn't mind do I wouldn't mind having like a Dragon Ball Z version of that game. But you've also got like panels that you have to kick as well at the same time. Oh that would be fucking awesome. Uh, anyway, um so yeah, uh, Street Fighter Six, yes. Um uh, this Call of Duty uh uh uh, uh trans warfare debacle with you know Tim the Tap Man and, and, and Dr. Disrespect and whatnot. You know what? Guys go for it. Stick to your guns. As I said, leave leave the fucking kids alone. I mean Pink Floyd said it the best. Hey, teacher, leave them kids alone. Literally Pink Floyd said it. Pink Floyd fucking said it years ago years ago. Excuse me. But um other than that, uh, I haven't. Uh, one of the other reasons why I haven't been putting up content is because I have been quite sick, um, both physically and mentally. Uh, physically, I'm fine now, but mentally, I'm still going to do therapy and a few other things and whatnot as to what happened to me in my time in the service. It's PTSD issue related as well as uh, I have to get evaluated for some other conditions as well. Um, um, couple other updates um reason why i'm learning cyber security is because someone hacked my accounts they stole like 40 grand's worth of crypto from me they also tried hacking into my amazon account and buying some other stuff and putting my bank account in the red luckily for me my bank account spotted it sorted it all out for me which is fucking awesome um so my bank account is in the positives and it's in, it's in the black so i'm not exactly getting hit with fines and whatnot but uh sadly uh cyber crimes how I, I knew they wouldn't be able to find the guy who stole my crypto but my crypto has gone uh and i was going to use that crypto to put, buy a house uh, up north uh, just outside of newcastle i found a really nice little three-bedroom house um and uh it was going to be my little uh um streaming slash um content creating house where i was going to have a room where i do painting and, and, uh, and crafts and building and uh, uh, electronics because uh, like I said I'm getting into doing um, uh, electronic program this this actually is going to be a really cool uh, uh, program I'm doing 
Uh, I'm actually going to be hacking this device so that it reads my uh, uh, brain waves and turns them into Bluetooth signals so that a computer can actually read my brain and whatnot. And so um, uh, it's 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 going to be really cool. Uh, things like the Ponagotchi project, stuff like that. Uh, that's what I've got plans for doing. I uh, had plans anyway doing for this house but it was going to be my own place my own home so I didn't have to worry about you know staying not making too much noise because of my roommates and various other things and also it means I could get away from big cities like Reading London Manchester you know I, I would I would have been probably about 15 20 minutes maybe half hour outside of Newcastle so where housing is quite cheap because it was a three bedroom house with a nice garden for I think it was like 40 something thousand and I was just shy of about three grand of buying a house. And it would have been mine. My own place, you know what I mean? My own home. And uh, sadly, some fucker stole all my crypto. Um, but if you guys are inclined, um, get a hold of me on Discord if you already know who I am. If not, I will post a link in the description where you can donate to me via PayPal um, if you really want to and uh, help me back out, get me back on my feet in that area. Uh, I really would greatly appreciate it. And um, like I said, it's just, it's it's been one of those, it's been a tough year for me. And we're starting to get ready to be in the middle of this bloody summer. Um, so yeah, that's, that's gonna be fun. Um, <laughs> uh, but yeah, like I said, I, I, had, I have goals. I still do have goals. Uh, next, Next two weeks, uh, I will be going to see my mum, who lives in Cambridge. Uh, I will be going to see my mum for a couple of days, just change the scenery kind of thing. Uh, I've also got to go pick up some, um, some, I'm actually going to be picking up some old mobile phones, ironically, from her. Because uh, one of my little side businesses I do is I buy um, uh, used phones, old used phones, refurbish them, and then sell them again. So... Uh, this one got a new battery. This one is getting a new screen uh, and a new battery. Uh, the, the battery's here, but the screen's still on its way uh, from China. But this is a Moto Droid X. This is a J-Pop. Um, and then let's see the Kali Lennox phone, the, the, the Huawei P6. Uh, that had a bad battery. Just replaced the battery, uh, and it's fine now. Um, my A12 is getting a bit long in the tooth. Um... It will stop getting security patches next year, which means I will be probably turning this into this, which means this Nexus P6 uh, I will uh, keep as a backup phone. They, 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 they both work. They both have SIM cards. They both work. In fact, this one is actually the two, or two, two, uh, uh, it's, it's like a te technically it's a two, two, uh, two factor authentication for this phone. So if someone sends me this phone a text message, um, and they steal my accounts and they, they they clone this phone but not this one because this one's not even on the same network as this phone it's on a completely different network under a completely different name so good luck trying to fucking clone it uh and so it's it's just an extra level of security for me but um yeah i was gonna stay at home open up my own cyber security business and uh work from home doing external pen testing for net, for websites networks uh things of that nature while um, eventually probably hiring some people to do some on-site pen testing. So they do the on-site stuff, I do the off-site stuff, if that makes sense. Uh, I am currently self-employed, I'm my own boss, so it is what it is. And yeah, so I'm loving life. Uh, next week, my tattooist gets back in town, uh, but unfortunately their tattoo shop uh, got damaged in a fire. It, it didn't catch fire, the building next to it caught fire. But they did get some 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 damage from that fire, so their tattoo parlors being uh, uh, face lifted pretty much. So my tattooist Pia, when she gets back from Manchester, because she's got a tattoo convention that she's doing right now, when she gets back from that, uh, this guy is getting some extra work done work. I'm getting the the rest of the Kale Star done, some more work done up here, and yeah, getting some other stuff done over here. I am getting a uh, a chest piece, which is the the, the knight. Uh, a bent nail and a sewing needle uh, for my four, uh, three family members who passed away. Uh, the chess piece for my Uncle John because he taught me how to play chess. The bent nail for my Uncle Peter who taught me painting, decorating, you name it. And was... You couldn't ask for a better uncle. You really couldn't. And uh, the sewing needle to represent my grandmother who passed away in November. Uh, so, yeah. 
And then I'm also going to be getting a teddy bear <laughs> a tattooed on me for my daughter, because uh, my daughter's nickname is Molly Bear. And so I'm going to be getting a tattoo uh, with her name on it, you know, a teddy bear with the name Molly on it. Uh, so yeah, I've got, got that planned. I've also got a raven planned to go on this shoulder pad, on this uh, shoulder blade here. Uh, it's a part of my, my Nevermore Raven because I'm a big Edgar, Edgar Allan Poe fan. Um, so that's what I've got planned for myself. Um, and yeah, I, I will be doing a uh, some YouTube video stuff on how to hack and modify uh, the devices, things of that nature to do things that you're not meant to do. Case in point, I'm the coding that you, you, well, you probably didn't see it in this video, but you probably saw it in my rant video. Uh, I am coding a... Uh, driver slash interface device uh, HID human in, uh, human interactive device uh, for my Ponagotchi that will allow my Ponagotchi or Ponagotchis in general to respond to you verbally so I can say Ponagotchi and it will listen very similar to like a, a an Alexa or something and I would give it a command to do like list WPA keys or search Bluetooth or you know, just various things like that, basic straightforward commands, and what it say, see what you see on the screen, it will verbally tell you. So if it says, Casey, it's like I've kicked X amount of things, made X amount of handshakes, it will say that back to you, and you'll be able to customize its voice and various other things and whatnot. Uh, I'm trying to find a good voice pack for a Cylon from Battlestar Galactica. Um, I know there isn't. There was a uh, um, an app for. Uh, uh, Apple, but I don't do Apple. I don't do any Apple devices. No laptops, no phones, no nothing because they're too easily you can you, you they're too easily hackable. Um, and I mean they they're like they're the security on an Apple device is like fucking non-existent, like non-existent. Um, and so I'm trying to find even a simple voice changer app or something that will just let me do a simple you know like by your command things of that nature so that when I tell my opponent got you to do something it's gonna respond with by your command you know and things like that it's just it's the gig plus my uh, Alexa over there which is on okay but it doesn't respond to the word to the name Alexa again it's customized I could just say computer computer resume see computer pause <laughs> I love it. Uh, very Star Trek and um, stuff like that. And I'm getting to the point where I'm actually going to be customizing the LEDs on that Echo Dot over there to do the Cylon Eye Knight Rider style whoosh whoosh kind of thing. Because um, I'm just a huge fan of the 80s. Uh, and yeah, so that's got that planned. I'm also in the middle of. Uh, I have a 3D, uh, an STL file of a Cylon head uh, as well as the Terminator skull. I just don't have a three. Well, technically, my ten-inch printer could print it, um, but I want to print them both uh, to go on display on my on like a table or something, and have the eye move on the Cylon, and have the Terminator's eyes follow you if you enter the room. So it's going to have like a, an Arduino with a, a motion sensor in it, and it's just when it detects the motion, it's going to follow the motion. You know, so you, you're literally having Terminator eyes follow you. You know, kind of thing just to creep people out just forget why not you know uh just small little program little projects like that you can do with your kids you know what i mean just small things like that i'm i'm looking at more doing an educational side to the chat to the youtube channel uh with guides and stuff so you guys can follow through and whatnot so if you want to build something with your kids for the summer or the winter is too cold they can't go out and play but they, they're bored and whatnot so it's like okay we're gonna learn how to do this today you know grab the Grab the breakout board, grab some transistors, grab a, an NPN, grab a 555 timer, and all of a sudden you've made a blinking circuit. You know, it's stuff like that. It's something for them to do and to be like, aha, you know. I'm a huge believer in, in hands-on learning and stuff. And so that's what I want to do for the channel. But I might start a brand new YouTube channel and just do it there. Um, that way I can split the content up. But so anyway, guys, this video has been going on for far too long. So I'm going to end it. So uh, anyway, stay safe, have fun. Shots flying, enemies dying. Come, come on.